What's up everybody, Me Time Gamer here, bringing you another awesome video for you guys. This time it's going to be a Bethesda uh, sort of react or my the best moment of it uh, in my reaction. So uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys are ready because I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. <laughs> Alright guys, so right now, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna explain, basically, probably gonna be a lot of cut, just showing you what I liked about the Bethesda, Bethesda is one of my, one of my good, one of the companies I like a lot, because they make so many good games, uh, and yeah, so right now it's just running previews of trailers from last year's E3, and that kind of things, so, uh, yeah, so, probably the next cut you're gonna see is probably gonna be, the, 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 the thing hasn't started yet, it's still in, uh, 13 minute late so far, so yeah, so we'll be watching that, and hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. So let's get going. Oh yeah, here it goes. Oh my god, did they just do that? Of course they'd have a Quake trailer. Music's pretty good. So that's pretty cool. Quake Champions. That's pretty cool. A lot of people were speculating. <laughs> of course, respawn. A lot of people were speculating Bethesda was going to do a new Quake. I don't know if it was a, they, they had stuff going on there, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I've never personally played Quake, if I remember. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. A lot of people were hyped for it. So hopefully if someone that can do it, we saw with Doom, if uh, some people can do it right, it's going to be Bethesda. So I can't wait to see more of that, that's for sure. Oh. Oh baby, here we go. Contraptions, okay. Ooh, armor racks. I like that. <laughs> you serious? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Next week. Really? Oh, vault tech? Oh, please. Oh my god, yes. Built your own vault? Are you serious? God damn. That's cool. That I'm happy. Oh, cool. Oh. And I can't get 
looks like a new settlement. Oh. <laughs> cool. Wasteland vacation. Okay, yeah, they, I heard ru rumors of it. Of course, Elder Scrolls. Jesus Christ. Oh, remastered Skyrim. Remastered Skyrim. Son of a bitch. That looks pretty fucking cool. I just hope maybe they they were able to transfer our saves, sort of like what GTA did. Ooh, mod! You fucking k these guys—they're revolutioning the mod shit. That's pretty cool, man. I didn't see the date there. That's pretty cool. The Nuka Town thing. I hope it's a big mod. That would be cool. This game looks nice, whatever it is. There is a 3 p.m. meeting in Transdar Conference Room A to clear land use rates and development plans. That looks like a fucking um, Firefly logo thing. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. That's creepy. Prey. That seems pretty interesting, I have to say. I like the, the well, it's a cinematic trailer, of course, but looks pretty freaking cool. In Prey, you awaken aboard Talos One, a very special space station. It is the year 2032. You are the key subject of an experiment meant to alter humanity forever. But things have gone wrong, of course. The space station has been overrun by an alien threat and you are now being hunted. As you dig into the dark secrets of Talos One and your own past, you must survive using all the tools at your disposal on board the station. Your wits, weapons, and mind-bending abilities. Prey will be, will be available next year on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. We'll have more to show at the PreyCon, so be sure to join us there. Thank you. Cool. That does seem interesting. Hi everyone. I'm Can't Marcus wait to see more. Over there as well. A chance to experience the latest in virtual reality from Bethesda. Ooh. Great buffer. You expecting that, were you? Now, the first time anyone uh, experienced modern VR uh, was at E3 2012, and if you were there and lucky enough, you may remember getting to play Dune 3 BFD in our booth. Now, at the time, we had solved some of the toughest technology challenges posed by VR, and people were amazed. Since then, we've quietly continued our pioneering work in VR, and tonight, we want you to see 
and experience what you feel when you put on a headset and play the latest uh, AAA games in the industry. And we have two games for you to experience. The first is the just released Doom. You can take a virtual tour of hell and get a totally unique look at the very latest in graphics and true next-gen rendering from our id Tech 6 engine. In addition, we think the greatest promise of VR is its ability to immerse players completely into virtual worlds and that the best games for that experience will be first-person open-world RPGs. So we have Fallout 4 for you. Oh, that's cool. Well. Of course. That's pretty cool. Wander the wasteland, check out the iconic Red Rocket, try combat. I'm telling you, with a pip boy on your arm, a dog by your side, a gun in your hand, it's pretty incredible. Tonight, we're pleased to announce that Fallout 4 will be released in 2017 on the HTC Vive platform. <laughs> and if you thought survival mode that's, was that's the cool. best way to experience Fallout, you ain't seen nothing yet. We want to give you a glimpse into where we're headed with VR, where you can expect us to remain a leader, offering our games on the very best platforms you choose. So be sure to check it out. The graphics look like I haven't played. I played just the first part or two of uh, Disorder, uh, this Dishonored one. So compared to that, it looks pretty cool. Explore a new location, Karnaka, the jewel of the south. Our approach to world creation is very layered. Our art and design teams work together to create a strong sense of place with a well-realized culture. It's based on the people living there, the work they do, the architecture, the economy, the climate, even the food and song. bring Karnaka to life, we've created a custom game engine designed to support our signature art direction and level design. We wanted Dishonored 2 to resemble a painting in motion, so we've given considerable thought to our lighting and the way it plays across every surface. We've created custom tools to support the interruptible real-time narrative scenes necessary for a stealth simulation. And the same is true for our approach to audio, both in terms of atmospherics and stealth gameplay. All of these details make Kanaka more vivid thanks to our new technology, which we call the Void Engine. In crafting spaces for you to explore, we've got several creative goals. We want the environments to feel coherent and complete, plausible. Where do these characters live and how do they get to work? Is there a, vi a viable pathway that makes sense? Where do they take their breaks or stop for lunch? But it goes further than that. For Dishonored 2, we felt compelled to ask ourselves about the history of a given street or shop. What was there a decade before the player arrives in Karnaka? Often, you can see the layers of history, watermarks on the wall from past floods, healing posters and advertisements from years ago. We want every market, every alley to tell a story and offer you the chance to see something novel or intriguing. Dishonored 2 starts and ends in Dunwall, but most of the action takes place here in Karnaka. Yeah, guys, so that was uh, the, Beth the Bethesda Showcase E3, so that was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, we got the introduction to Quake. That was pretty awesome to, to look. I'm, I personally never played Quake before, 
but uh, a lot of people say it's awesome, and it the, the trailer did look super awesome, so that's a game I might try, so keep an eye out for that on the channel. Uh, ESO Legend, seems like Hearthstone, not my kind of game, honestly, uh, so you probably didn't see the, 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 yeah, so they announced ESO Legends, uh, probably you didn't see it, uh, I probably cut that out, because it's not really what I'm focused on. Uh, there's a new game though, uh, Prey, looks pretty cool, uh, pretty awesome, uh, an alien invasion sort on the space stations, uh, I think they, you probably saw it on the trailer, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, my personal favorite, because I love Fallout, so Fallout 4 DLC, Contraption, uh, vault Tech, Building Your Own Vaults, and a Nuka Cola World, so that looks pretty freaking awesome, uh, I'm happy that they're releasing new stuff, especially that they're... They're not skipping any months. They're actually releasing one next week, and then the week, the month after, and then the month after. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, then after that, they talked about a bit uh, Fallout Shelter, uh, which is fine. I played a lot of it, and they're doing, they're showing that you can actually sort of go on quests now and stuff, and new enemies, and uh, so they're expanding it a lot more and coming to PC. So that's another great thing. So you got that to look out. Another, the one bigger thing that um, looks amazing. I might try it if they, if uh, like I mentioned, I think, in the video part, that uh, they're bringing Skyrim Remastered to PS4 and then uh, and the Xbox One. Hopefully they're able to transfer to save, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, so they're, they're also talking about more Doom DLC, which is fine. I didn't play the game, I know the game looks freaking awesome. And I might just try that, uh, that um, first uh, level download thing to try it out for free, sure, why not? Uh, ESO, that's a game I got. I haven't had a chance to play a lot because I played the beta. I think I got a video on my channel, on my YouTube channel for that. And I had to, I had to replay the first couple mission, missions, and it didn't really feel like it uh, that much, so it sort of, sort of broke the taste for me to go try it out more. And then after that, I Dishonored 2, which like I mentioned a bit before, uh, if I didn't mention it, if not, uh, I only played a, like the first two chapters of the game. Uh, it was fun. I liked it a lot. I just didn't have time to go back and play it because it's on my uh, PlayStation 3 and unfortunately it's a bit, a bit of a hassle for me to try to play because it it's not always connected. So yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed um, the video I've presented you. I probably just show, uh, showed you the parts I found interesting personally. And yeah, so thank you so much guys for following. Uh, like and subscribe to the ch like, like the video. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Uh, what's your favorite part of the Bethesda uh, conference? Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, so follow me at MeTimeGamer on Twitter. Follow me, uh, MeTime, uh, Facebook.com forward slash MeTimeGamer. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash MeTimeGamer, where I almost try to stream almost every day, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And right here, YouTube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer, where you can see a pl a plenty other videos we got for you guys. Uh, yeah. So thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. So keep on keeping on guys.